Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Sky, your host, Alan Paul. So today we're going to do Dreams of the Deep. We're going to go through the entire storyline on this one. I may be doing a little bit of uh, clipping on this so that way you don't uh, get bored with all the uh, swimming that we're going to have to do on this one. So we acquire a bunch of things on this particular episode uh, with the Dreams of the Deep. We're going to investigate the signal, but we're going to get our Nautilon, uh, which is going to be our underwater submarine. So we are actually in the system. I went ahead and got myself set up for it. So whatever space station I was at last, I came to this system because this is where this is the uh, this particular. What is this called? Mission. This particular mission starts. And there we are. Transmission coordinates. We're headed on our way. So we're going to follow the storyline. Now I'm going to give you a little heads up and a little warning. If you haven't played this particular secondary mission yet, uh, Dreams of the Deep, it's, it's pretty dark. It's pretty sad. It's pretty dark. I'm just going to give you a heads up. I know that's kind of a, you know, breaking it to you a little bit too early like this. And you probably want to find out on your own as to how dark it is. But it's a dark tale and you have to know this in advance, especially if you're a kid and everything like that. You kind of want to know this. Nothing wrong with it, not dirty or anything like that. It's just, it's sad. Okay, looks like we're on a really wacky looking planet. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before. Okay, so we're looking for likely an abandoned structure. Ah. You can usually tell because there's usually stuff around it. Now, this is probably not it. This is just a transmission tower, and I don't see... Oh, wait a minute. No, yes, I do. I think I saw some eggs around it, whispering eggs. Yep, this is probably it. Yep. There we go. Now we could acquire some whispering eggs while we're here, but you know what? Okay, moving on. Ugh. What a mess. People need to clean up in here. Old habit. Sorry. Let's move on. Okay, so we're going to go to the terminal here. This is where it's telling us to check out a distorted voice. Reach event. 407 souls. Now, if you recall S-O-L-S, souls, that means 407 passings of the sun. So this is literally 407 days later, if you will. If you are listening, you have likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. Collect it. I take the upgrade module. Its installation history contains the serial number of its owner's starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. Even though he warned you not to, you're still going to follow. So we get an underwater protection module. I think we already knew the aeration unit. Um, we are running out of room in our starship as far as technology. And a little bit of room is sparing in here too. But if I'm not mistaken, none of these are... There is a technology supercharger right here on my hazard protection. But let's move things around a little bit. you guys over. We don't need you guys right there too. Two over here. Oxygen harvester. So that's underwater, our oxygen harvester. Let's move these down here. I don't think this links to anything. No, it doesn't. This would eventually link to something. Nope, not really. Okay. So anyway, we have some things to install. You see, there's no technology right now. The aeration uh, module is... That's odd. I should have that. I guess I don't need it. Uh, this is a Supreme Upgrade. So we've already got a Supreme Upgrade. I guess we can sell this. We don't need two of them. I'll hang on to it. Maybe we'll use it. Maybe we won't. Okay. Moving on. So we're going to go on to the next uh, place. Um, where's the door? Is that the door? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yep. I went around the wrong side again, didn't I? Of course I did. I do that every time. Uh, interesting looking creatures. 
it's like butterflies, but not. Oh, there's only one species on this planet, too. Let's collect it. That'll get us an achievement as well. Any weird glitches or anomalies here? No, that I can see. Just a really weird looking planet. So we ought to get an achievement out of that. It'll probably happen in just a moment. Especially as I start to leave the planet. Now it seems like it wants us to upgrade ourselves in order to get the next... Oh, I have to put it in. Okay. Let's put it in. Yes, sir. Sorry. Okay, so, yep, yeah, that's what I had to do. Alright, so we'll scan. Starship Trace has been enabled. Where? Oh, where? It's up here. It's on a different planet entirely. Oh, there you are. Right over there. Stranger Starship. Okay, we're on our way. Now, hopefully the video looks a little better. I think my last couple videos, it's been trimmed down a little bit. I had to go through OBS and make some adjustments and uh, fix some things on it. I tried to issue my first short video, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm hoping that... I don't know, we'll see what happens. It only uploaded a few minutes ago, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, moving on. Of course, at the time that you're seeing this video, um, it's probably been a few weeks. <laughs> so, Because I try to record these videos a couple weeks in advance. A nearby object. No, thank you. I know exactly who you are. You're trying to sell me uh, an extended warranty on my vehicle, and I'm really not interested right now. All right. Supposedly there's a stranger starship in this vicinity. Ah, looks like it might be underwater, possibly. All right, so I'm going to do something a little different here. I don't think we're going to find anything. Let's go to first person view. Aha! It is over here. You see that there's a ship right there. It's under the water. So we're going to have to do a little swimming here. Uh, let me flip around and look for an island. Yeah, you'll do. Wow, i never seen my ship back up before. That was pretty cool. Alright. It is over that way. Hello, animals. Oh, looks like it's right there. Oh, a little fighter. Nice. So, we'll hit this module right here. Distorted voice. No, I'm just kidding. Huh. So this happened a uh, reach event of only four days, huh? Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that smaller starships were able to get clear before the hull imploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to retrieve blu the blueprints from the freighter's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have the plans for the Nautilus. Download the Nautilus plans. So now we get that. While we're here, let's take a look, shall we? Hmm. C-Class, not really worth much. It's got some damage to it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, four mil, we could probably get, I don't know, half to three quarters of a million from it if we trade it in. We'll go ahead and claim it. But we're going to go back to our original starship and fly it and just get rid of it. Now what will happen is this ship will appear in our inventory, just as a side note. Um, we're not going to acquire anything from this, by the way. Let's check out the biologicals. We can just get up to the surface. We can see our ship from here. Oh, there it is. Right there. So, you know, our freighter, if we go to our freighter at some point, it will just populate on the freighter. Now, we may have to go to another system or two, but this wouldn't be a bad idea to show you that. So you can call on your freighter from the planet surface. Uh, if I can, there we go. Summon it. From a different galaxy. Let's 
So we're going to head up there. It says we need to construct the Nautilus. But I want to show you this real quick. We'll go back down to the planet's surface in a minute. You see it's really close to the atmosphere. So we can come right up to our ship. This will only take a moment. Be patient. Some of you may already know this. Now, it could show up over here. Yeah, not showing at the moment. So what you can do is, even though it's not repaired, you can repair it up here on your freighter. You just need to switch your docked ship to the other one. See? And now I can fix it if I need to. No, no big deal. But we're going to not do that right now. And we're going to stick with our original ship. So let's go back down to the surface. We need to construct a Nautilus, and there's, some, there's work to do in order to get that done. All right. Blizzard going on, too, so I'm going to freeze our butts off doing this. Is this the ocean? Yeah, close enough. We'll land here on this little island. It looks like there's an archive over there. Is it? Or is that just a rock? It might be a rock. It might be the, yeah. yeah, it is. Okay, no big deal. Okay, so to construct our Nautilus chamber, let's get into the water because we want to see if we, that'll help us cool off a little bit. No, of course not. So to construct it, we need five metal plates, four crystal sulfides, and 100 salt. We don't have any of these things. We can make the metal plates, so let's go into our, our inventory of our person and make the metal plates. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we got those. And now we need to scan everything. What do we get from this? Chlorine and dihydrogen. That's not helpful. Salt. So that's what we're looking for. Um, yeah, we are. Mining layers. Now, what might happen when you deconstruct something is you might get attacked. See? Those things will attack. They will hurt you. They come out. Back to the mining beam. There's another one right over here. So we need 100 salt, as you might recall. Okay? Hopefully these fish don't get in the way. Uh, that's almost 100, I think. We'll just go ahead and get some more. Always better to have a little bit too much than not enough. So how much do we got? We are at 159. Okay. The cytophosphate is important. Plants normally carry that, not the rocks. So if you got any plants down here, check them out. That's an oxygen plant, so that's not going to really be much. That's a plant. Does it have cytophosphate? Yes, it does. Acquire the cytophosphate because you need it for fuel. Okay. There we go. Don't want those guys attacking me. All right, so we should have... How much cytophosphate? I don't know why it keeps defaulting to my ship. 95. We do need a little bit more. So, But we know what plants have them. Boy, oh boy, these guys are just... Tenacious. Okay, got him. Okay. Let's recharge our thermal protection. We're going to recharge our air, which we don't have a lot of oxygen. We need oxygen. That was one of the things I really needed. So I'm going to recharge them for now. Okay, so where are we going? We're going to...
Wow, there's a lot of biologicals here. Hold on a second. Okay, how many is that? Three out of 15. Holy mackerel. All right. We may be here a while, so maybe we'll discover all of them. Maybe we won't, but it'd be great to find out how many nanites you get from that. Wow, almost 4,000 nanites just from that alone. So it's really worth it sometimes. All right, now we need to get some... Uh, we got the cytophosphate. Crystal sulfides, right. Crystal sulfides are going to be found under the water. Of course, we've got some armored clams, which have some living pearls in them. We're not really interested in those as much. Um... That's the stress beacon where we found the ship. Funny that we happened to land so close by it. What we're looking for is a certain particular type of plant. So let's float over somewhere. Ah, see those? I think that's it. Nope, that's just a plant. Once I find this plant, I'll show it to you. Plant. It's more like, I don't know what you'd want to call it. And don't attack those plants, by the way. Sometimes an abysmal, abysmal, abyssal, abyssal horror is abysmal. <laughs> abyssal horror will sometimes appear. I think that looks like one over there. I can't tell. It's green. Yep, that's it. This is a crystal sulfide. These particular things shoot out jets of hot steam. They have three of the crystal sulfides on it. And if you're quick, you can get all three before it explodes. One, two... Three. Then get away from it. Now remember, we need at least four. It looks like there's another one right over here. Use your jets underwater. It's a lot easier to move around. And I'm always going to grab extras. And it's about to explode. See? Like that. And if you're caught near it, it will hurt you. To the surface. Okay. Alright, so now we should have everything we need to... Really? The shark ship's out of range. We should have everything we need to create an autolin chamber. So, there's a reason for us to do so. Let's go ahead and make one. As you can see. We now have it. Let's get on board the ship for now. So we're in our little mini submarine. It's a really weird view. It gave us full power, but we don't have any fuel in our Humboldt drive. So let's check it out. I'm going to put it in one of these areas here. I gathered up the crystal sulfide because, uh, cytophosphate, pardon me, because that's needed. You need salt, cytophosphate, and carbon to make one of these fuel cells. Might have enough to make a second one. Nope, I need 21 more salt. But that's okay. We should get a full boat out of it. Okay. There. And now we get out a better view of it. Now, I'm going to do something different, and I recommend doing this. Get back out, go back into your creation menu, and pick up the platform with the X button. You'll get all your requirements back, and you'll get all the items back that you need, just in case you need to create a new platform somewhere. Don't forget to do this. It's important. Otherwise, you've got to start acquiring all those crystal sulfides. Uh, and everything like that. So that keeps you moving along a little bit better. All right, so what's next on our agenda? Explore the depths. Test it out. Stay alert for signs of the stranger's expedition. Okay, so we just got to move around a little bit. We're going to get an alert at some point. It's indestructible. Just keep that in mind. And sooner or later, we're going to get an alert. Okay, wait, we have an alert. Locate the aquatic structure. Looks like we have one over here. How far away is it? Two hours. Piece of cake. Right? Wrong. We am not going that way. Where's our ship? Over here. Aren't you glad you picked up the platform now? Yes. Yes, I am. Now, these, this guy, any way you point your, your cursor, your mouse, if you will, is the direction that it will go in. You point it up, it will go up. If you hit your space bar, which is normally your jet. Here, it's bouncing on the surface there. If you hit your jet, it will automatically go up to the surface. Um, whoops. Really pay attention to what I'm doing there, buddy. These things don't do well on surfaces. 
Oh, look, there was one right there. As you can see, they don't do well. I wanted to show you to you anyway. That's okay. See you later, bud. Thanks for your help. It'll just roll back into the water. It's absolutely hilarious. Again, they're indestructible. Have fun with it. Okay. So we're going to take off. And we're going to lie over this area. Now, at regular speeds, it's supposed to take about 25 minutes. Out in the space we go. So this is the best way to do it. There's no reason to go any other way. The game knows you're going to be doing it this way, so don't worry about it. Now, this will probably be going to get done in two episodes. I'm going to do this episode now. We'll stop it at a, right around the one-hour mark, and then we'll go from there. Whoop, hello. Okay, sunken structure's there. We need to find some place to plant our ship. There's a couple rocks floating around. Those islands are a little bit far. I'll use this one. This is fine. I got a new headset that I'm using here. Bone conducting. It may cut out because I think it's the cheapest one I've ever purchased in my life. So if I have any problems with that, I will switch over to a new headset. So now we could use a Nautil one here. But you know what? We're going at a pretty good pace. We might use it on the way back, though. Now, again, we're low on oxygen, so. There we go. You know what we could do? Just thinking. Do we have the ability to make this? Yeah, we do. Let's make a couple dihydrogen jellies real quick. That's good. There we go. That's good. Good. Now, you see that little eyeball there? That little stinker? He will attack. So, what do we get from them? We get an eye. And they're worth quite a bit, so go ahead and grab it. Now, some of these structures have more than one. So keep an eye open. Whoop. They shoot a beam at you and draw you in, and you can't get out of the trap until you, uh, you know, take them out. Come on, inside. Uh, you know what? I'll take that. Health restored. Okay, that means that was down below top. All right, get rid of the goop. And what do we get? Despite the decay, the station's mainframe remains functional. The records have clearly been accessed by whoever came here before. The last entry is a download of a high-power sonar unit. But there is something strange. The timestamps have been purged. There is no way to tell how long ago the crew was here. Was this place on land? When it was last visited? The horrors that lurked outside must surely have come, up, come after. But what drew them here? Unless... Download the sonar plans. Unless what? Okay, so you see we need three more crystal sulfide to build this, and 50 ferrite, as long as as well as a solar mirror. So I believe yep, it's giving us the crafted technology to be able to do this. So we need we need gold and silver, which as you know we have on our ship. Um, so we're going to be making sure we get to our ship here. Um, stuck. There we go. And out the door. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some crystal sulfides. There's our ship over there. I see some crystal sulfides. I'm going to get some extra ones. And we're going to head up to the surface. Just keep your jetpack held down until you get to the surface. And that way you can save on your oxygen. There you go. Alright, so once we get to our ship, we're going to go ahead and create our Nautilon again. And we're going to go ahead and then 
install our sonar unit. Yeah, I'm going this way. I know I could probably just create it real quick right now. No criticism here, folks. I'm trying to save myself on supplies. If I had a couple thousand in oxygen, I don't think I'd care. But for some reason, I'm really low on oxygen. I kind of need the salt, too. Why don't we go ahead and grab that while we're here? Oops, sorry, buddy. There we go. Okay. While we're swimming, let's look for anybody we have never discovered. Looks like we've discovered all these animals. Because we're in an area that, uh, obviously... Uh, where'd our ship go? Don't lose track of your ship, okay? Not like me. So we're in an area that, if we can find all 15, that will be a really great benefit to have 4,000 extra nanites. Now at some point or another, we may need some living pearls. And I see one over there. Let me show you how this these are acquired. If you haven't seen it in a previous episode or at any other great and awesome time, you shoot them, let them open, but you got to get in there and quip and take it before they snap shut they snap shut, you are going to get hurt. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any more aquatic animals to discover here. And our cold protection has also run out. There we go. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's not there anymore. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys up to snuff. That's what I did the life support gels for. Okay. Um, let's pull some gold and silver from the starship. Uh, gold. Here we go. That should be more than enough. Okay, good. And we're down. Create our Nautilus one chamber one more time. Now you notice our ship isn't there, but you see these little paddles on the side? Should be summon Exocraft. And there it is. Jump on board. And now you can get your sonar. There it is. Crystal sulfide. All right, Dust, we still need the solar mirror. Let's get in here. Now, just like anything else, we can make it here. Gold, silver, chromatic metal. We get that. It is now installed. One thing you want to do is I always put it into the overcharges if, if you can. So use it. And you remember what I told you to do. There we go. Sorry, forgot I was still in the build menu. Okay, so we're going to use it to find the survivors, as it says. So it says here, use it to explore sunken wrecks, access it. Uh, mentioned a freighter crash in the deep ocean, so we're looking for a wrecked freighter. Use it, starships, crashed freighters, sunken buildings, or submerged ruins. Very nice to know this, because if you want to look for some, some down starships, a great place would be under the ocean on many different planets. It's very easy to find them because of this one particular way of doing so. But we're looking for a freighter, right? If I get there. Okay, wreck detected. Let's just wait a moment. And it should appear. There it is. Well, how far away is it? Six minutes, 24 seconds. I think that's a little bit long, don't you? Let's fly over there. I do that a lot for this particular run. There we go. We'll just make our platform and use it later. This should only be... See, it would have taken us six minutes to get there by submarine. 
This way it's only taking us about a little over 20 seconds. Okay, and here it is. Remember what we did on our expedition? Any part of the ship that happens to be sticking up? We're going to use it as a landing pad. Woohoo! That's the way to go. Bear with me just one second. Okay. So there it is. Here we go. Jump. 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 Try to hit your jets as you hit the water. Eh. I did it lousily. Lousily? Is that a word? Ah, it is now. I'm making it a word. Lousily. I hit it so lousily it was incredible. Okay. Let's see what the distorted voice has to say. Reach event, eight souls. So the, we're going through the progression of how these people have crashed. So four days after they landed was at that one spot. Now it's eight days later. Okay, we're four days after that. Located the wreck, but the ship's computer was was a washout. We salvaged what supplies we could we could and left. I don't want to be nearby when the water eats through the reactor housing. I am serious. And don't call me sir. I'm not even sure why you got that. Tidal patterns here are increasingly strange. The water has risen rapidly, but we are yet to see it ebb. We could return and salvage more when the water falls away. The survivors made it back to the wreck of their freighter, but moved on soon after. I will have to do the same if I am to find them. Okay. Before I leave, I make one final search of the archives. There are no more clues, but I do locate blueprints for some aquatic construction modules. At least the journey was not in vain. I'm going to shut down the signal. I shut down the distress beacon. There is no one here to rescue. Woof. Okay, we get a whole lot of stuff that we can build a underwater uh, unit with. So, uh, that's my freighter. Uh, ship is... Hello, ship. Yeah, I'm losing it. It's this way. Is it? Right up there. Good grief. It's all you fish. You fishes are in the way. We love fishes. I'd love to do the Smeagol voice right now, but, uh, yeah, it's, a. Uh, I can do it, but it's really a strain on the old vocal cords to get it done. Okay. So, we're back. So, what's our next step? Uh, we want to look for abandoned structures on the seabed. So, we're going to do the same thing again. Whee. And we'll build you right here. We'll call in the chamber. In we go. Let's just go right into the menu, use it. We're going to use for an abandoned structure this time, right? Sunken buildings. Okay. Where is it? It's over this way. How far? Uh, getting it aimed right. One minute, 51 seconds. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should fly over. All right, here we go. It is all, it's not even far away. I mean, it's only a few seconds away by this, but. Drop. Oh my gosh. There we go. And here we go. Kerplunk. Straight down. And you know who's going to be sitting outside, right? Just to show you what they do. See? You have to hit that to escape them. So 
So just to give you a rough idea of what they do, they completely immobilize you, so you can't shoot them while they're doing that. Probably another one over here. Yeah. And sometimes you'll find one on top. In we go. Okay, let's go to our terminal. Haunted terminal. Remove the goop. Log access. Signal echo distorted. Recovering data. Read log. Log. Breach event. Twelve souls now. It was my turn to dive today. Once again, nothing of interest, nothing but kelp and rocks. The water is yet to recede. Some of the crew have taken to swimming without their suits. It looks so inviting. Mm-mm. It's trouble. Take that. Now, if you find yourself running out of oxygen, you don't have the protection, you can do that. And that will get your oxygen levels back to normal. Okay? Just a little thing you can do. All right, what's our next one? We got We have to use the sonar again. So let's pull in our Nautilin. So we're gonna look for more sunken buildings, okay? Okay, another signal echo detected. Uh, it is. Hold on, over there. Three minutes, 33 seconds, so we will most likely take our ship. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Let's get to our ship. This will be a little quicker. Right through the plant, kabloom. There we go. And let's head on to the next building. Okay. All righty. So about 40 minutes, not quite 40 minutes in. We should be able to get a few more of these done. And taken care of. Okay, so this sunken building is in the middle of nothing. I don't see anything around here I can land on. So we'll go back a little ways to this little island thing. If this is an island, yes it is. Let's drop it. Eventually. All right, we're under the water. Let's create our Nautilin. Get the right menu to pop up. In we go. And we're, whoops. I ain't going through that. And we're protected from the elements in this thing too, so even though there's a storm going on, no big deal. So, we couldn't land anywhere closer. This is the closest we could get, and that happens, it's no big deal. Got our Nautilin. No weapons on this, so... In we go. Next. You know what? We're going to grab the life support, the first aid, because we were a couple of things down. Now, you're kind of frozen in time, so you don't have to worry about your oxygen levels dropping while you're here. Log accessed. Signal to score. Recovery data. Read log. 21 souls. Okay, so many days later. The secondary dive team came back early today. They found a cave full of strange crystals, but the light on the sub cut out and forced them home. They seem upset, disturbed, but we have to go back while we still have an idea of where it is, before the shifting tides rob us. We'll never build anything without advanced materials. Makes sense, right? We fix the lights in a Nautilin. I'm heading out. Bob continues. Reach event, 23 souls. We found the cave. I knew we would, but what a find. Great towering crystals of brilliant red, rich metal deposits. Consecrate, concentrated deuterium. All we could ever need. 
we might just make it after all. Now, if only we could get a dry night's sleep. Leave. Hmm. Things sound too good to be true. Don't you agree? Come on. Out you go. And into our Nautilus. Okay. So what do we need to do? Blah, blah, blah. To detect more sunken buildings. Let's look for the sunken buildings. Uh, where's that one at? That way. Way of our ship, too. Man, I hope it's not the same building. It almost looks like it's the same building. That's weird. So if you're wondering about that audio clip earlier, that was when I was streaming. I had that set up for people who subscribed. So I'm not sure why that came through two days later. Unless it has something to do with my short that I made. Someone just subscribed while I was recording. OBS saw it and said, hey, let's do something about this. It makes no sense, but hey. Okay, so this building is pretty close by, but I swear this might be the same spot we were at before. Okay, there we go. Let's find out. This looks like the same building. Did we have another building that I missed? Nope. This looks like it. Okay. I know. Supplemental oxygen, blah, blah, blah. I think it's the same building. Yeah, see? That's odd. Let's do it. Yeah, it is. But, hey, I'll, I'll do it. That's cool. Reach event 98 souls. Interesting. So this is from 24 to 98. Good gravy. 70, it's more than 70 days later. I had the dream again. The endless purple waves, mile after mile after mile. A relief at first from the dull crimson ache, but then I can't escape the feeling there's something else there. I look around and there's nothing. Nothing. I blink and I see them. Faint at first, just lines, but it's unmistakable. Repeated geometric shapes traced in the sky, row after row of triangles, slowly scrolling past. And I can't explain it, but it's the most terrible thing I've ever seen. It's almost a relief to wake up and see the rain again. Lock continues. 399 souls. This is almost 300. This is over 300 days later. They've gone back to that wretched cage, ev cave, every one of them. No one is listening to me. We can still build the hyperdrive, I know it. After that, flushing the salt out of the launch thrusters will be easy. Lock continues. Lock. Reach event 399 again. We've all had the same dream, the same rambling, the teeth in the sky, those crystals. It's nonsense. There's nothing else down there. We've taken it all. But what can I do? Maybe I missed something. Maybe they're right. One last look won't hurt. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. A little worrisome, isn't it? We have to use C to get the scanner, so let's build it again one more time. Did I forget the other one? I bet you I did. Son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> My own fault. You're probably laughing at me, too. I was in such a hurry to get back over here to figure out if it was the same, sh same place or not. So you can do it without the protection if you have to, but... Where's my... It was over here, wasn't it? It's not what I want. 
think it's over here. I gotta see if I can find it. Put your butt down. Thank you. Up oh, there it is, over there. Let's just highlight it. That, that'll work. This thing's got plenty of juice in the thrusters, so I'm not worried about it. Let's get this thing first. There we go. Got our stuff back. Back to the Nautilin. There we go. So what are we looking for this time? I think we're looking for another structure, am I right? Final position. So this is it. Several scans may be required. Use on the scout to see and scan multiple locations. Okay, let's go down. Okay, so that's what we're doing. You see we have a countdown timer. We need to go a little further and keep scanning. Let it recharge. Hit C. And it gives us a location. How far? 511. Yeah, we're not going to do that here. So we pull in. Oh, that's not what I want. Pull in our fighter. Solar ship. Not really fighter. But with the weapons I got on this thing, I might as well be considered a fighter, right? Alright, let's go to wherever that is. Sunken building detected. Uh, looks like we got a nice couple little islets right here. This will be a good place to rest. Shall I do it right this time? Let's do it right this time. And got to exit. Just get it moved off the platform so it doesn't take it with it. All right, there we go. Oh, it's a little further than I thought it was. You know, you constantly look over at OBS while you're recording a little snippet on the side here, off the cuff, and you wonder to yourself, did I forget to unmute? Have I been talking for the last half hour for no reason? Okay, let's see what we got here. Here's our opening. Okay. Let's jump out over here. There we go. No use in wasting it. We're going to go ahead. There we go. Grab that. Here we go. Trapped. Subreactor leaking. It grabbed me, but they're dead now. Their eyes are all shut. I think my leg is broken. My hand hurts. If I can just find an air tank, I can still get back home. Lock continues. The recording continues, but it is just hours of scratchy silence, the static of the currents. I have a haunting sensation of being watched. I wonder who this crew really were. It seems I will never find out. You inherited the helmet of the Lost Diver, transformed the appearance of your exosuit at an appearance modifier. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of Dreams of the Deep. It kind of seems... 
what's the word I'm looking for? Anticlimactic. But you learn that they never got their got their way off of this, and that something was watching them. And you knew it was likely the Atlas. They mentioned the Crimson. Uh, I'm heading towards my freighter, not my ship. I just realized that. So you realize that they um, they never did find their way out, and they never recognized that it was the Atlas. Uh, not too many travelers understood what the Atlas was. And you're kind of like the first, other than Null, a little bit of Apollo. Apollo was starting to figure it out. Artemis never did, of course. But you, as this traveler here, have figured it out and are cognizant of it. Now you see it says here at the bottom right, it says the Atlas Pass. Speak with the Atlas. Let's take a quick check because it, strangely, it restarts your Atlas Path for some reason. So it starts over again. And I don't know why. It must be a glitch in the system. We're not going to do that again. I promise. We will do the planet in distress at some point. These are just sub areas that we can that we can do as well, like the, the base archives. I still have to locate base all the time. Just one of those things. And I do want to complete the base. That will be another mission of completing the base. And we'll do the uh, uh, planet in distress. And I'll go over those with you as well. But the base will probably be next, and we'll do that in another video later on. So, now that we're back, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, we are going to end this video in a different place. I don't think I'm going to end it here. I'm going to end someplace a little more comfortable. If you don't mind. How about the anomaly? I do it on my freighter, but I think the anomaly is kind of a more appropriate place. Because you're probably wondering, hey, what is this thing that he can get with this helmet that I mentioned? It's a special uh, deep diver's helmet. You'll recognize it when you see it. I'm not going to leave it on my person. Oh, great. Yes. As far away as we can get. I hate the algorithm on that. Can't put me over here, or over here. Right here would be great. But no, gotta put me all the way over there. Grr. But hey, while we're here, let's hit up Ares. Let's see how much nanites he's gonna give us today. Since I didn't get my 15 uh, people. Uh, no, no. Fauna. Let's see what we get. Sweet, 1250. I'll take that. Okay, so let's go to the head. And what do we get? We're on the Shroud of Freedom. Lost Bathysphere. So that's what we're looking at. And that's what that looks like. Yep, not much to it. Has to do with what light is coming out of the display of the unit. So there's a couple different ones. I would probably go blue if I was to leave it on here. I kind of like the gold color of it. But, yeah, it's kind of creepy looking, man. I mean, that's as far around as I can get. Let's see the other side real quick. Yeah, that's it. So it's pretty neat. But I like either the first spawn battle mask, which is always pretty cool. You get some extra accents. It looks even better. See what I mean? Hey, knock yourself out. Enjoy what you want to do with it. But I'm going to go back to my Shroud of Freedom. Because I really like the Shroud of Freedom. I like the way it looks. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, that's not it. One of these gives me my yellow. Yeah, there you go. Let's go dark yellow. That looks a little better. No, brighter. I like it brighter. There, that looks good. Okay. Anyway, yes, I'm saving it. So there we are. And that's where we're going to remain with this. So I want to thank you all for watching. As I always say, never criticize kindness. Always be kind when you can. And of course, always be truthful in all things that you do, especially to yourself, because that's where it starts. Thanks again for watching. Hit that subscribe, subscribe button if you haven't already, and uh, really would appreciate it. And hey, hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you in the next episode.